Hello everyone. It is so exciting to see the enthusiastic initiatives that all of you cities have been taking up to identify the corridors and the neighborhoods for your cycle interventions for the India Cycles for Change Challenge. This piece is specifically for community engagement during the design process. So it's very important to remember that we must keep the community at the heart of the design process. We are designing with the community at all points in time and the success of your intervention will depend on the community itself. So why not ensure that you get their feedback and buy-in at every single step? There are three very crisp, actionable points that we have listed over here for cities to carry out during the design process to engage with the community. First is to inform the community about the pilot interventions. Second is to call for volunteers. And third is to document the site at all stages in the design process. Let's look at each one of these in a little bit of detail. First, we, know now, we now know that you have identified the locations for your pilot intervention. So it's now time to inform the community. This is the first step. So why should you inform them about the pilot site? Naturally, first to build support for the pilot intervention itself, to reduce pushback during any later stages because you built their support initially, to address any major concerns of the stakeholder groups, and lastly, to build a strong voice in the community as a case to scale up in the future. So there are two main ways in which you can announce these pilot sites to the community. One is online and the other is offline. So online, you could um, use your social media channels, websites, or any other online portals that you have where your citizens are constantly interacting with you. You can put it up on these channels saying that you have chosen a certain location, your neighborhood, the corridor, for the pilot interventions and let your citizens know. Second, offline, you could roll out the, the pilot locations in newspapers, in any other publications, posters, banners, you could put them up along the routes to inform the community. We will also be sending a social and print media template to you shortly, so that all you need to do is replace your city name in that template and roll it out on social media and print media. The next step, is as you inform your citizens about the pilot location, you must also remember to call for volunteers. You're going to need volunteers for various reasons throughout the entire process of testing out the interventions. Certain activities such as collecting data from the site, testing out the pilot, organizing events, talking to users to get their perceptions, and many other such tasks are going to require a lot of people on the ground. These volunteers would also help you build a lot of support in the community and that is why it is vital for you to call for them early on. So how can you call for volunteers? Again, use your two key channels online and offline. Online, you can roll it out on social media and your websites like I mentioned before. Offline, similarly, you can put out a call in newspapers, any other publications, posters, banners, we will also be sending a social and print media template for all of you to replace your city name and call for volunteers. The last point is to make a better case for scaling up in the future. Make sure that you document every single stage of the process. This will also be very useful to develop good quality content for your press outreach as well as your social media channels. So when should you document? Make sure that you document before during and after testing the interventions on site. So this will be pretty useful so that you have a record of the design intervention through the entire process. Make sure that you also document any other events that you host, your cycle rally, cyclothons, and so many other interesting initiatives that we're seeing cities are taking up, any other community initiatives, conducting surveys, focus group meetings, discussions, or even core team meetings for that matter. Please ensure that you'll keep a record of all of these and when, and when you're documenting your site, please make sure that you document during peak hours for cyclists to cover maximum impact. So how should you document? The first method is via photographs and videos. When you're covering a, a, an area of your site via photographs and videos, please ensure that you're taking high quality images. 
Also, at the same time, ensure that you're covering a diverse set of users in your photographs. This is important to make a strong case to say that a lot of users are using the pilot interventions and it covers a larger audience. You may also capture your site and any other events via good quality written content. You can take testimonials from the users and get quotations from them as well, but as, as they explain how much the site interventions have been useful to them. All of this content can be put together and used for your social media, your blogs, newspapers, and various other publications so that you can spread the word wildly. We will also be sending a documentation guide very shortly to help you with this further. So a quick summary of the three points. First, to inform about the pilot location to the community. Second, call for volunteers from along the pilot site, preferably. And third, document the process at all stages. At every point, we will be helping and guiding you by sharing social and print media templates and as well as other guides to help you document the process. To conclude, I'd like to remind you that please make sure you keep the community at the heart of every single intervention because the success of your intervention depends on the community itself. Thank you.